Thank you very much. Good afternoon. It's my great pleasure to attend this wonderful conference and share our experience about contrast ultrasound in a lung disease. We all know lung cancer is one of the malignant tumors with the fattest increasing morbidity and mortality and was the largest threat to people's health and life. Because of the radioactivity of chest CT and X-ray, it is not suitable for repeated application. Branch scopy has high diagnosis ability but bring much more pain. So other effective and repeatable diagnostic methods are needed. In 1994, our center first published a study about uh, ultrasound in peripheral lung disease. In recent years, the application of ultrasound in lung disease has drawn more and more attention in clinical practice. The topic sonography feedings in per peripheral lung disease is very clear. We can see this is benign and the other one is malignant. But sometimes the plural based nodular lesion looks similar, like the benign and the uh, the benign and malignant looks very similar, so we hope the application of contrast ultrasound could help to provide more information for the differential diagnosis of lung disease. Currently, CUS is widely used in the diagnosis of liver disease. However, at present, CUS, CUS in the evaluation of lung lesions is less well investigated. Uh, Based on reading the Chinese CUS guideline and the WFUMB CUS guideline, and also importantly, based on our uh, experience in more than 600 cases of CUS in lung and uh, chest disease in our center, I will give the topic about the CUS in lung disease. First, we talk about the indication. CUS in lung could have to characterization of the uh, the mass nature close to the plural, and uh, when imaging results are not uh, conclusive, CUS would uh, assist to ultrasound guided biopsy to obtain pathological diagnosis. And also, CUS play important role before, during, and after local ablation of tumors, like uh, screening. Um, monitoring and uh, evaluation efficiency. CUS method. First, we select the ultrasound scanning site according to the chest CT, place the patient in the appropriate position, and the intercostal scanning is used. Um, make a multi planar scanning, and uh, it's very important that we should explore the lesion as much as we can. On the basis of B-mode ultrasound scanning, enter the contrast mode. Sonoview was, was administered intravenously. Uh, we asked the patients to hold breath for 30 seconds to obtain an arterial face imaging and in the parenchymal face. The nearby pleural should be scanned to see if there are multiple lesions and if there are concomitant masses in the in inner or deep side of the atelectosis. The enhancement and the washout precise of target lesion were observed in real time. And finally, comprehensive diagnosis was made according to ultrasound, contrast ultrasound and the clinical information. And uh, we also perform imaging post procedure of CUS, including time intensity curve, to show the fluid hemodynamics of the lesion and the uh, microflu imaging to show the mass vascular information. The diagnosis uh, point of CUS includes a real time of contrast agent, and it was called in enhanced phase, uh, enhancement level distribution and the direction characteristic of microvascular wash-in and wash-out feature. First, we look at the enhancement phase. Because the lung referring has a dual artery system, different etiology means different artery supply. In most benign lesions, it has pulmonary, artery, uh, pulmonary 
arterial supply, and it usually had very early enhancement. And in majority of malignant lesion, it was supplied by the branchial artery, and it had delayed enhancement. Look at the example in health volunteer, the left head. Uh, heart enhanced at three second, and the uh, the right hand and the other one is left heart enhanced at eight seconds. Between three and uh, eight seconds, it was the window for the lung circulation, and the li liver start enhanced after ten seconds, and it means enter to the systemic circulation. So it's important for differential diagnosis of pulmonary lesions to distinguish pulmonary artery supply or branchial artery supply. Look at the guideline. Usually, 10 seconds was used as the cutoff value to differential the early and the late enhancement. How, uh, for example, the malignant lesion had enhancement at six seconds, and the benign lesion has uh, enhancement at a very early time is five seconds. However, in some cases, we can find very early enhancement in malignant lesions. So we know the arrival time in arrival time of contrast agent in lung and in lesion may be influenced by multiple factors, such as people's heart function or um, a lung disease, or maybe the injection speed speed of the contrast agent. Then we look for the individualized diagnostic criteria in 2016. Our center recommended the new uh, individualized diagnostic criteria. We used the arrival time, arrival time of the surrounding lung tissue as the reference and calculate the difference in the arrival time between lung and the lesion. So we bring out the new diagnostic criteria. It is the difference time longer than 2.5 centimeters suggests the malignant, and the other one suggests the benign lung lesion. Uh, the new, we compare the new criteria with the conventional criteria is eight seconds or ten seconds. We can find we get better sensitivity, specificity, or accuracy. And also another Chinese group reported the similar result. So recently we recommend to use the time difference uh, longer than 2.5 cm as the cutoff point to distinguish pulmonary and branchial arterial phase. And uh, the second point is enhancement level. It can be divided into four levels, non hypo -aso, and hyper-enhancement. And was related to microvessel density, but it has very limited value in differential diagnosis. And, this, and the third point is direction, uh, distribution and direction of enhancement. Usually we can see homogeneous enhancement in benign lesions and uh, heterogeneous enhancement in malignant lesions. And uh, for the direction, we can see peripheral to cent center uh, uh, ecocentric enhancement in malignant lesions. And in the other hand, we see the central to peripheral enhancement and the simultaneous enhancement in most benign lesions. Uh, and the washing and the washout features is similar. We can see the delayed enhancement and the fast washout in malignant lesions. And uh, while uh, we see the early enhancement and the slowly wash out in the benign lesions, TSC could help to display the perfusion pattern. However, we only found one uh, paper report the enhancement time was significantly shorter in uh, pneumonia fem lesions than other types of lesions. Summary of the features of lung lesions on CUS between malignant and uh, benign uh, from enhancement phase, level, direction, degree, MFI, washout, and TIC. There are significant differences between these two diseases, and the most important are the enhancement phase and the washout time. Now we look at some clinical applications. <laughs> Phenomena is mainly supplied by the pulmonary artery, resulting in early homogeneous enhancement, branch-like muscularity, and slowly washout. Uh, 
atelectosis is mainly supplied by the pulmonary artery and demonstrate early marked enhancement on COS, hyper enhancement in parenchymal phase. And we should pay attention to the deep side of atelectosis to find the central tumor. In periphery phase, the central tumor was demarcated well by the COS. And the pulmonary embolism showed delayed enhancement, no enhancement in pulmonary, pulmonary arterial phase and hypo enhancement in branchial arterial phase and the parenchymal phase. And the usually is in homogeneous enhancement. And the peripheral benign tumor like lesions, usually CUS had fast uh, hyper SO enhancement in pulmonary arterial phase and homogeneous enhancement and wash out slowly in parenchymal phase. Uh, peripheral lung cancer, uh, it had a hyper or hypo enhancement in branchial arterial phase, wash out in parenchymal phase. We can, we can find the disordered and the twist MFI pattern, uh, complemented with, uh, necrosis in large tumors, especially in squamous cell carcinoma. And also, COS have to uh, target valuable, valuable tissue and uh, increase the uh, diagnosis uh, accuracy, especially in tumor larger than 5 centimeters. And uh, regarding to the ultrasound report, uh, besides the uh, talk, besides the diagnosis criteria we talk about above, we will give a per preliminary conclusion and the recommendations for the clinical doctors and uh, it better we draw a diagram to show the COS features on the report. Conclusion, COS has high diagnosis rate for benign and malignant lung tumors, has typical pattern for um, per, pernominal uh, atelectosis and peripheral pulmonary malignant tumors also help to assist to get lung biopsy and increase the diagnostic accuracy. So COS has a promising application in pulmonary disease in the future. And now we move to the video. It's a, a young male and a chest pain for one week. We found a large tumor in the medical look at the b-mode ultrasound first and the color ultrasound now we enter contrast ultrasound Adjust the related parameters. And the MRI, uh, uh, MI. After inject the contrast agent, we start timer. They observe the enhancement pattern in real time. We can see it's heterogeneous enhancement. It means suggest a malignant lesion. Now we do the TIC analysis. Now we perform micro flu imaging to see the microvascularity. And it uh, gives us inf information for biopsy to target this area. Steril 
sterilize the skin. Local anesthesia. Puncture the knee, the the lesion. Get the tumor sample. And fix the tumor samples. Hey, the problem is how to get in. The problem is. Ah, okay. Now we move to the question session. An old man with cough and hemop. Poses and uh, look at the video of contrast ultrasound. This area is the lung lesion. Around 11 seconds, the lesion starts enhancement, homogeneous. Homogeneous and from peripheral to the center, we can see some disordered tumor vessel. And now we can see start the washout. So, what is your diagnosis? Pneumonia. Atelectosis, pulmonary benign tumor, or pulmonary cancer? What is your question? What is your answer? Now we we see the answer. Yes, it's a pulmonary cancer.、Uh, pathology shows it's a small cell lung cancer. Because we can see the tumor is big, but with very limited necrosis, it's a very special feature for small cell lung cancer because it has very rich blood supply. The second case is an old female patient with acute le leukemia, le le leukemia, and fever, and、uh, we can see the B mode, B mode ultrasound and.、Uh, Four seconds, we can see the enhancement. One minute, and the al alum means liver. The five minutes, the liver get the complete washout, but we still can see the enhancement in the lung. So, what is the diagnosis?、Um, should be. It's not look like a tumor. Actually, it's not not like a tumor.、Hmm. Yes, it's a、uh, pneumonia. It's very typical feature of pneumonia.、Uh, B mode shows the solid solidation of the the right liver with evidence of an air branch gram suggesting pneumonia. And the contrast shows a very short time to enhancement, and a very slow、uh, washout in the parenchymal phase. It's end. Thank you for your attention.